Hi pals, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about love. That is of course because Valentine's Day is this month, but we also can't forget that it's LGBT History Month in the UK this month, which is all about loving yourself and whoever you're attracted to, even if historically and sometimes even now, society tells us that we shouldn't. So January has been pretty shitty. There's been some stuff going on in the world. So this month especially, even if you don't have a partner, should be about loving yourself. So grab yourself some cozy knits, because it's absolutely freezing as well. Get yourself a cup of tea, because this month I'm very excited to announce that I'm gonna be uploading a video every other day all about self-love and self-care. I am so excited about this, so I'm gonna kick off this mini-series by sharing some tips on how to love yourself. This is definitely easier said than done. People say it all the time, like, you wanna love your life? Just love yourself. You wanna be more confident? Just love yourself. But it's definitely more of like a process and a habit change than just like snapping your fingers and you love yourself. This is also quite different to self-care, which is all about looking after yourself and looking after your mental health. Whereas self-love is more like a state of mind and it's more like, an acceptance of yourself and your self-esteem rather than just having a really nice bath and putting a face mask on. Also, a lot of us are in the habit of not loving ourselves. Society tells us that we shouldn't love ourselves, that we've got all these things wrong with us and that's why we need to buy more and we're constantly being pounded with inspiration from influencers and social media and everything like that, which you end up comparing yourself to, which just makes you feel rubbish. And I think especially women, we're trained not to love ourselves from a very young age. So this does take a lot of work to break that habit and form new self-loving habits. So my first tip for loving yourself is quietening that negative self-talk. And we do this all the time, probably without even noticing. Say for example, you missed your bus and you think, God, why am I always so late? I am an awful person. Why am I so useless? And you don't even notice it's a split second that that goes on in your head, but that is reinforcing that negative self-talk and reinforcing that you don't love yourself. So it's time to notice when that's happening and to break that habit. So one way to do this is through meditation, which is especially good for helping you notice when you do this negative self-talk. So whether that's formally meditating or incorporating more mindfulness into your daily routine, this can help you be more aware of when you're doing that negative self-talk and stop yourself in your tracks. Then to replace that negative self-talk with more positive and realistic, let's be honest, self-beliefs, Things like positive affirmations can be really great. So you can use these while you're meditating or you can just listen to them when you're going about your daily life and that helps to reinforce those positive self messages. And there's scientific proof that meditation and loving kindness meditation especially actually changes your brain chemistry so that your brain is more practiced at going down those positive routes than those negative self-talk routes. I've made a whole video about how to meditate, all of the different ways so you can find a way that suits you, which I will link up here for you to have a watch of. My second tip is to look after your body, both eating well and doing exercise. We all know this releases a load of endorphins and just makes you feel great from the inside out but also making sure you're doing this from a place of love rather than a place of wanting to change. So dieting and exercise is fine as long as you're not doing it from a place of self-hatred. If you're thinking, I love myself, I want to look after my body because I love it, I am going to take these steps to improve my health. My next tip is kind of similar to the positive affirmations, but is to make a list of things that you like about yourself and put it somewhere visible. I've done this and it is actually really hard like it's not just about things about your appearance it's things about your personality and who you are so make yourself this list it might be quite tricky but aim for like five items to be on this list and then maybe make it part of your routine to add to this list maybe once a week you think of a new thing that you love about yourself and add it to the list and put this up on your pin board pin it to your fridge pin it to your bathroom mirror, wherever you're gonna see it every day. So if you're stuck in a rut of this negative self-talk, you can read this list and be like, actually, I'm a pretty cool human, I do like myself. And again, reading it every day just reinforces that self-love and that positive self-talk. For me, some of my self-worth is related to my accomplishments and how 
how productive I felt and I don't know if you're the same but if you are like this as well as making an extensive to-do list make yourself a to-done list or a wins list of everything that you've accomplished in a day so even if you get to the end of the day and think I have done nothing today I've been so unproductive I've procrastinated all day you can look at your wins list and be like actually I did quite a lot of stuff today I'm all right and my final tip is to do with comparing yourself which we can't help we do it all the time we're humans but it's to unfollow all of the accounts that don't inspire you. I've done this recently on my Instagram. I had like a massive cull of all the people I was following and I went through a criteria in my head. If they don't inspire me, if they're not beautiful or if they're not people that I actually want to know about their lives, then they're gone. Or if you're really stuck in a rut with comparing yourself to people on social media, have a digital detox and just cut it all out for as long as you can. So those are my five tips for loving yourself. I hope you found this useful and I hope you're excited for myself love series in February so every other day I'm going to be uploading a new video all about self-love and on the alternating days I'll be sharing other content that I've made or that other people have made that are related to it so you're going to be getting content every single day in February let me know in the comments if you're excited as I am and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye